Good evening, Celestine. It's Monday. It's actually 11 p.m. on Monday, so this video will technically be late, but it'll be up before your next video, so, uh, yeah, I really don't care. <laughs> um, so today, I promised that this video would be a little more entertaining than last night's video, which was short and rushed, um, so I'm gonna try and keep true to that promise by just talking about a few things that I love. Um, yes, love, very much, um. So, for starters, I love Trader Joe's uh, dark chocolate covered espresso beans. As you can see, the box is almost empty. Um, yeah, these things have been keeping me up pretty well. <laughs> um, I love this book I have uh, by Richard Bach. It's called Illusions. And it's called it's the adventures of a reluctant messiah. And the idea is, what if like a modern day Buddha or Jesus was walking around us? And uh, uh, it's it's a fiction book, and it's the author just kind of trying to to play with uh, the idea of you know what someone's like a super enlightened soul's um, opinion of us would be. And and it's it's really funny, but there's also a lot of truth in that book that I really I really enjoy. So that's why I love it so much. Um, and uh, finally, I I love my pipe. You know, I I love my pipe, and, <laughs> and it's because I, it, you know, when I get home, it's part of my unwinding ritual. It's like okay, I'm done with the day, I can relax, I don't have to do anything, I don't have to go run after someone or. Or, or, or transfer someone from their chair to the bed or, or, or help anyone in the shower or, or any of that. It's just me. My time. I'm done. <sighs> and, um, yeah, uh, I mean, I guess there are, there are plenty of other things that I love because I'm a very, uh, very loving person, I guess. <laughs> um, and lots of stuff around my room, but uh, it's dirty, so I'm not going to show it right now because it's it's pretty bad it's it looks like the huns went through after a bomb went off during a tornado uh yeah <laughs> um oh and I'm, I'm also gonna gonna talk about something that, that i get asked a lot i get asked um how i like how i learned to speak so well um i've been getting a fair amount of recognition for my ritual work in d malay and uh, I'm, I'm just going to answer the question here because I feel like it, even though no one really sees these things. Um, <laughs> I, I practice my voice work when I'm reading to, to the kids sometimes. You know, it, when, you, when you channel the voices and when you kind of just kind of play with the inflection of what certain words should sound like or whatever, um, it's a good way to practice. It, it's also... Um, I don't know. Like I, I th there was speech in in Akadek that I practiced with, but I didn't have any like formal training or or any of it. But I've got people coming up to me and asking like, "How did you study?" or or "How are you?" Like you know, where where did you learn? And it's like I I don't know. Um, I just talk, and when I when I talk, um. I, I mean what I, I mean what I say when I say when I go through these rituals or whatever and so that I guess that's part of it knowing what the words mean and then saying them in a way that's meaningful um, I'm not explaining it very well but that's kind of the gist of it <laughs> uh, anyways this video is running long and I'm too lazy to edit so I'm just gonna keep talking until it's almost five minutes but not quite yeah. Uh, in other news, you know, I just noticed you can see like the the, the I will win sign in the background on my <laughs> on on my mirror. Um, it's actually a remnant from a bet that I made with my sisters, uh, and it's like a daily motivational type of thing. So, yeah, the bet was. Uh, it's about me transferring and about me getting my license, and uh, I lost one of those already, and uh, <laughs> hoping to win the other one next year when I transfer. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I, I hope you're well, and I will see you Thursday.